Well, hello, girls and boys. I hope you're having the most fantastic day so far. I am so excited for this morning's devotion because I have a question for you. Ready? What is the nicest thing someone has ever done for you? Maybe your grandma got you the best Christmas gift ever. Or maybe your mum and dad took you to a theme park on the school holidays. So I want you to have a think. What is the best and the nicest thing that someone has ever done for you? You know, we've been looking at what a parable is. Now, a parable was a really awesome way that Jesus told a story to help people understand who he was and where he came from. And in today's devotion, Jesus told everyone a very, very special parable of a time when somebody helped someone in need. Now, this person in need was in trouble. He was not feeling very well and he needed help. And there was these two people who we would normally think were good people, but they ignored him. And then another person who we wouldn't think would help him because they weren't actually friends, he did help him. So this story is called The Good Samaritan, and I'm going to be reading it out of the Lion Bible. So let's read this story together. This story is called The Good Samaritan. The Jews of Jesus' day did not like people called the Samaritans. The teachers of the Jewish law were suspicious of Jesus. They knew that his teaching and his miracles drew the crowds. But was he misleading the people? One day, a teacher of the law decided to ask Jesus a sly question, one that would show up the flaws in his preaching. Teacher, he said flatteringly, please help me with a really important question. What must I do to have eternal life? Jesus looked at the man. He could tell that he was not really seeking advice. You know the scriptures, said Jesus. What do they say? All of the law is summed up in two commandments, said the man. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And the second flows follows on naturally from that. Love your neighbour as yourself. You are right, said Jesus. Do those things and you will live. The teacher frowned. Had his question been so quickly dismissed? The real puzzle, protested the man, is this. Who is my neighbour? Here's the story, said Jesus. There was once a man who decided to go from Jerusalem to Jericho. In the lonely road that winds down through the hills, robbers attacked him. They beat him up, stole all of his belongings and left him half dead. It so happened that a priest from the temple was passing that way. He saw the man lying in the road but wanted nothing to do with it, and he simply passed by on the other side. Next came a Levite, one of the helpers in the temple. He crept up to take a closer look at the wounded body, shuddered and hurried on. Then came a Samaritan. He saw the man and knew in his heart that he wanted to help in any way he could. He went over and lifted him up. He cleaned the wounds and bandaged them. Then, gently, he helped the man onto his own donkey and took him to an inn. Any plans the Samaritan had for how to spend the evening, he abandoned without hesitation. He spent all his time taking care of the man and making sure he could sleep comfortably. The next day, he had to travel on. Before he left, he took out a considerable sum, two silver coins, and gave them to the innkeeper. The poor man I brought here yesterday will need to spend some time getting better, he explained. This money is to pay you to take care of him. If it costs you any more, just make a note of what you spend and I will pay you back when I come back this way. Jesus paused, and the teacher of the law who had come to question him frowned slightly. He could tell what the story was pointing at. Jesus had deliberately told it to show two religious leaders from the Jewish people, failing to show even 
basic decency, basic care. By contrast, a Samaritan, a foreigner whose understanding of the God of Israel was at best superstitious, had carry out, carried out the obligations of the law without any sense of pride or self-righteousness. So, said Jesus, in your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbour to the man who was attacked by robbers? The one who was kind to him came the grudgingly reply. You are right again, said Jesus. You can go away from here with your questions answered and ready to do the same as that man. All right, let's take some time and watch a really fun video on this teaching. The Miracle of Mercy, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, uh, yep. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. Please help. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, The one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, Yes, now go and do the same. Okie dokie, wasn't that a great video? And Jesus was a really awesome storyteller. You know, boys and girls, we can learn two things from today's devotion. Number one, it is good to help people who are in need. You know, maybe you see a friend in the playground when we're back at school, of course, and maybe they need help. We can help anyone. And number two, it is so important to realize that Jesus is our helper and that Jesus has helped us. That's what I learned from today's devotion, and I hope you did too. Anyway, I can't wait to see what we're going to learn from the book of Matthew next week. Bye for now.